Hi, garden friends. We're here to do science activity kit number three. You'll need a few things that aren't in your kit to do this project. So the first thing you're gonna need that's not in your kit is your science notebook. You might have one that looks like this, it's a composition notebook, or you might have one that looks like this, a spiral notebook. Whichever one you uh, received in your take home packets last Friday is the science book that you're going to have. I'm borrowing Frankie's for our demonstration. So you'll need that book and you'll also need a pencil and you'll need some kind of ruler. A ruler or um, a measuring tape would be fine. You're going to need a small container of water and probably best for it to be um, plastic, just on, on the safe side, so we're less likely to break it. And it doesn't need to be super full, just about like half full. Okay, and then you're gonna need your kit. So let's open this up and see what's in kit number three. Ooh, I have, I have things spilling out, check this out. What do I have here? So these are lima beans. So in your kit, you're gonna have two beans and you're gonna have some papers with instructions. Let's see, so you'll have the top page is an instruction page and then you have a diagram page. And then you have some questions to answer. The questions you're gonna answer after you watch the um, read aloud video that's from seed to plant. So we'll go over those in another video, okay? So for our activity, we are going to be doing a dicot seed exploration. So basically what that means is we're gonna dissect, we're gonna investigate what is inside the seed. We've talked about what's inside a seed in class before, um, and we all know that there's probably a, like a baby plant hiding in there, right? Um, and some seeds are super, super tiny. Some seeds are really big. Um, lima beans are really good for this activity because they're pretty big. And um, you can see a baby plant once we soak the seed. Now, I want you to know if, you're, if you have your materials out right now and you're all ready to do this activity, this is an activity that's going to take 24 hours. Like you don't have to sit here in front of the video for 24 hours, but realize that you're going to have to wait while your bean soaks in water for 24 hours before it's ready to be dissected. I know that it can be hard to wait that long, but it's gonna be really fun once you've done so. Okay, so I'm going to get the science journal out because my first instruction, let's see, oops, sorry. My first instruction says in your science journal, write down and draw your observation of your seed. So you're gonna have two seeds. Some of you will have this sort of red and brown smaller seed, and some of you will have a, a seed that is this size, but it's more, it's a white, just like the big one. So you might have two white seeds or you might have the red brown one and the white one. The main difference is that the big one, so I thought this would be interesting. This one right here um, is a lima bean seed that I bought from a grocery store to like an eating seed, right? Like your mom probably has, or your family probably has um, some beans in your pantry when you cook you know, we have like, we make refried beans or uh, beans to go with barbecue or all kinds of stuff, right? So these are from grocery store. These seeds, the smaller seed, whether it's the red and brown one or the smaller white seed, those I bought from a gardening supply shop. And so those were intended to be planted. So I thought it would be interesting if we observed the differences between, well, what is the inside of a seed that was at the grocery store look like versus the kind that was meant to grow into a baby plant. I am not sure, but I think there's some processing involved to prepare food, um, lima beans. And so they, um, they might look different inside than the ones that we intend to plant with. 
So that's why you have two. All right, so in your science journal, write down and draw your observations of your seed. What color is it? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Can you take it apart? Ooh, okay, so here's my, I'm gonna write today's date. Oh, should have probably checked the date. I think it's the 13th. So that's the way I'm gonna write the date. You can write it however you like to write it. If you wanna spell out the month. Oh, I zoomed in trying to get a close up, but now you can't see it because it's too close. Okay, so you can spell out the whole month if you want to. You can write September. <clears throat> But when you're using the science notebook, it's great to write the date at the top of the paper. You don't really have to write your name on each page because your name is going to be on the front. But you want to write your name on the date or on the date on the paper. Okay, so here's my lima bean seeds, and I'm going to make some observations. So I'm going to say lima bean observation. And if you want to write a heading like that, that's great, because that way you'll know if you just start writing words to describe your bean, when you go back later on and look at this page, you might not remember what you were describing. So I have two beans. I'm going to say bean number one is, let's see, some descriptive words I can use to describe this bean. I feel like it's sort of red and brown. It's small, it's hard when I squeeze it, and I don't, I don't see how it's going to come open, right? It doesn't feel like it's going to let me open it. So, reddish brown, hard, smooth, it's smooth, it doesn't really have any lumpy or scratchy bits on the outer part. It has this interesting little white divot here though. Hmm. Okay, and then this is where you need your ruler. I thought it would be really interesting to measure the size of our beans. Now I know some of my younger students maybe have it, don't have a lot of practice measuring and that's okay. Hopefully you have an adult there that can help you figure out how to measure your bean. Okay. So I am, my, this bean is so small, I'm using the centimeter side of my ruler. And he is, whoops, my ruler's bendy. This bean is about one centimeter. So I'm gonna say one cm is the way we abbreviate centimeter. If I wanted to see how many, how much of an inch it is, I could use the other side of my ruler. And it's about, it's just more than half, one half of an inch. So here's the half inch mark. It's just about half an inch. So it's a one centimeter, or since it's half an inch, I can write it with decimals, 0 0.05. Or I could write one half. I could use the fraction. So again, it's one centimeter, or it's a half an inch, right? Any way you want to measure it with your ruler or whatever measuring device you have will be just fine. Now, here's bean number two. So I need to write down that I'm gonna talk about bean number two in my notebook. Bean number two is, okay. So, hmm, it's a different color. This is mostly white. It has that same little divot and it's smooth and hard. It's not gonna let me open it. So, I guess I say it's white, but it is a little bit like of an off-white, right? A creamy white. And it's also hard and smooth. And let's see how, how um, let's check out. It's bigger. Let's see how much bigger. There we go. Wow, now that being <laughs> a silly ruler. <laughs> My ruler wants to keep collapsing. That bean is almost an inch long. Let's see, it's about, let's see, this is the three quarter inch mark here. Let me see. So it's, okay, it's three quarters of an inch. So I would write that, 
if I wrote it in decimals, I know that three quarters of an inch is like this, or you can write it in fractions. You can write three slash four. And then again, IN is the abbreviation for my measurement. If I flip it around to use the centimeter side, let's see how many centimeters this guy is. Well, he is slightly over two centimeters. I'm going to say 2.1, 2.1 cm, cm for centimeters. Okay, so now I've done my observation. Now, what we're going to do next, this is the part that takes a long time. You're going to get a little cup of water. And you're going to put your beans in it. Because right now, they're smooth and they're really, really hard so we can't split them open, right? I'm not going to do video for 24 hours, so don't worry. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a piece of white paper. Hmm, I don't see another piece of paper. Maybe I'll just use the back here for you. Okay, so now imagine it's been 24 hours. I'm gonna put that aside, and I'm going to bring this up here, and we're gonna look in this cup. Okay, so my beans, what do you observe? You should have your notebook out and ready to write some observations, okay? So I observe, I observe that both beans are bigger, right? Do they look bigger to you? They look a lot bigger to me bigger than they were before they were in water, right? Before they were in water. Interesting. Okay. So let me move this so you can see what I wrote down. I observed that both, oops, both beans are bigger than they were before they were in water. Okay, so I am going to, let's see if I can set this paper here. I'm going to take out my reddish brown bean. I'm going to, um, I just dried it off a little bit so that my paper that I'm filming on doesn't get wet. Okay, so here's my reddish brown bean. And I'm going to measure it before I do anything else, okay? So, here we go. Let's see. Wow! Now, my reddish brown bean doubled in size. It's just about two centimeters now. So, bean number one. is now to cm, and then let's check on the inches side. It should be, I predict it should be about one inch when I measure it with my, yeah, look at that. It's just about one inch in length, slightly under. Let's see. A little more than three quarters of an inch. So we'll say 0.8. I'm not totally sure how to do that as a fraction, sorry. So two centimeters or 0.8 of an inch. Got a lot bigger. Okay, now let's get the other bean out. I'm gonna dry it off so I don't drip in my paper. Let's measure this bean. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so, huh. Now that bean was an inch before. You know what, I just realized we didn't try and take um, a measurement of the bean, like how tall the bean was. And I bet that got a lot bigger in height, but it doesn't seem like it got much bigger um, when we measure it this way. Let's see, 
centimeters. Now it does seem like it's, before it was 2.1 centimeters. And so now it looks like it's about, here's the half centimeter mark right here. So it's about two and a half centimeters. But when I measured it by the inch, it still looked almost like, just like it was an inch. Let's see. It's a little over, there we go. Okay, so I'll round up and say an inch and a quarter. So one and a quarter or 1.25 inches. Okay. So now we've measured our beans after they've been in the water for 24 hours. Now's the fun part. Okay, so I'm going to very carefully, very gently sort of wiggle. Look at this. What, what's happening to my bean? Oh my goodness. Its coat came off, you guys. That's called the seed coat. It's sort of the outer skin of a seed. And look, it's a whole separate piece. Now, inside my bean... Okay, so this was actually part of the reason why I wanted to get you the garden type because I discovered when I dissected the kitchen type of bean, its parts are harder to see and they don't really stay attached to it. But you see these tiny little pieces I'm pulling off? Those are, whoops, it's stuck to my finger, you guys. Those are some of the parts of the bean. Okay, let me move those aside and let's pull the, doo -doo -doo. come up here guys. So what we have here, it's super tiny and hard to see, is part of the baby plant. So that is, whoops, go up there. That is called the radical and it's the root, it's the baby root. And this piece right here is the, um, the baby leaf, or it's called the epicaudal, epicaudal. So we have the radical and the epicaudal and the seed coat, and then these big pieces of the bean are called the cotyledon, and that's the food for the baby plant. So when you plant a seed, all seeds have some food already ready to go so that when they first get water, they have um, some nutrients that help them start to grow before they start pulling in the nutrients from the soil. Okay, so let's take our second seed and you'll notice it's not quite as easy to pull apart. You might, um, I have kind of long fingernails right now and so I have to admit I'm using that as a tool. But you might, um, Maybe a toothpick would work or you know what if you have a sharp pencil and you need to sort of use something to sort of break the edge of the seed coat your pencil would probably work yeah your pencil will work okay so there's the inside of my other seed and now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this that one's not staying open Quite as well as the others, but look, right? Where'd you go? There we go. Okay, I'm trying to zoom in, and uh, that makes things move off to the side. There we go. Right here, you can see my baby plant. So if I pull, let's see if the seed coat will come off of this guy. I pull the seed coat off. There's my seed coat, right? Okay, and this is a cotyledon, that's the food. And then right here, you can see, and see this one stays attached better than the, um, than the food one. You can see here the radical, that's this part. And if you look really closely, the epicaudal up here it looks like super, super teeny tiny leaves. Sorry, my hand was right here. It looks like super tiny leaves. 
So that's the epicotyl, and this is the radical, the, it's the root of the baby plant. And then this whole half piece, this whole piece, and the other one too, are called the cotyledon. They are the baby plant's first food. Okay, so after you have um, opened your seeds, you can make some more observations about uh, what you notice. So um, I notice, for example, something that I might write down, I notice that the seed coat of seed uh, of the bigger seed, the seed coat of the bigger seed came off really easily. The seed coat of the smaller seed, um, I really had to kind of work at it. Now remember, this is we need to use really gentle hands when we're doing this, so that we don't, um, so it doesn't just fall apart, right? Um, I also notice that the baby plant in the smaller seed um, is much more, you know, it sticks together, whereas in um, the larger seed, it kind of fell apart. So. I wonder why, because this is the seed that was from the grocery store, right, and ready to be eaten. And this is the seed from the gardening shop, ready to be planted. So I find it really interesting that the one that's ready to be planted, you can really see the baby plant very well. I think maybe that um, the kind from the grocery store might have gone through some process. Maybe they steam them or, you know, heat them up really hard hot or something before they dry them to make sure there's no bacteria and make sure it's safe for us to eat. So that would be my guess um, that the reason um, this baby plant sort of falls apart and isn't doesn't look as strong as the one on the gardening one is because it went through a different type of processing. Okay, so there's our bean seed dissection project. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Now remember, it's really important to wait that 24 hours to let your beans soak um, because they won't, they're super hard and they won't open um, sooner than that. Well, they might open sooner than that, but not much, by much. I kept trying to, I tried for two hours and tried for four hours and um, yeah, it's really best to just wait for 24. <laughs> okay, kiddos, I hope you had fun with this project and I can't wait to see all of your um, pictures. I would love to see pictures of your science notebooks and your beans. So be sure when you go to the Google form, you can upload pictures there or, um, or if it's easier to give them to your teacher in Seesaw or something, your teachers can forward them on to me too. Okay. All right. Happy gardening.